Hello, frugal friends and bargain hunters. Welcome to my second Timu sponsored video. I have so many fun items to share with you. So let's get right into it. We're going to do a little cooking. And as we do, I shall explain all the exciting things there are to explain about Timu today. The first item I want to share with you today is this sleeve of these little paper cups because we're going to make cupcakes. Well, actually, we're not making cupcakes. We're making corn muffins. Same thing. I got the paper cups with a little Peppa Pig pattern. These would also be super cute as table decorations with, you know, some M&Ms in them or, you know, whatever. But we're going to make corn muffins. These little paper cups stand perfectly on their own. I don't think you even need the muffin pan, but we're using it. I also wanted to show you this baking pan, which I'm not going to use today, but I can't wait to try it. It's silicone. It's flexible. So you want to make sure you put it on a firm cookie sheet because I've tried that, trying to carry it to the oven and you know, you can't do that. Put it on a cookie sheet. I love the little individual triangles. I thought this would be perfect for cornbread or scones or brownies. I'm really thinking brownies because you know how the edge of the brownie is the best part and this is like edges, edges, edges everywhere. So this is super cool. And I got one for my older daughter. Now I also have down here on the table this really cool, I think also silicone mat. It's got the circles, you know, the concentric circles for when you're rolling out pie crust and you want to, you know, make it a certain size. And I just thought this would be great for kneading bread because I make my own bread all the time. And this is really, like, it's really not slippery. Our corn muffin mix needs one egg and a third cup of milk. Third cup of milk, third cup of milk. I wonder how much I should pour in. Oh wait, I'll actually measure it. Unlike my usual way of cooking. Look at this adorable set of measuring spoons and measuring cups. I love the retro pink. It makes me feel like I'm cooking in the 1950s. All right, one third cup right there. Look at that. We're measuring. In we go. And yes, I'm mixing with a Timu spatula. Back here, we also have a nice little arrangement of some Timu kitchen items, another spatula. We've got the balloon whisks and then these wooden spoons. I love these wooden spoons. I just love these wooden spoons. I think they're just so beautiful. I just, I just keep adding to my collection. But while we stir, let's chat a little bit about Timu. So as I think most of you know now, Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products. We have kitchen items. We have home decor items. We have clothing, children's clothing, toys, pet items, jewelry, the earrings I'm wearing. Oh, I got new earrings from Timu. I love them. Let me show you. Are these adorable or what? They're kind of a turquoisey looking natural stones kind of a thing and total bargain. If you haven't checked out the Timu website yet, you can clink, clink, click on the link below or clink it. I made up a new word. Just for Timu, you've got a new word. So in case you haven't checked out the Timu website yet, you can click on the link below, check everything out, see these amazing prices, amazing coupons. You can get up to $100 in coupons. Check that out. They take all your standard forms of payment, of course, your credit cards and your online things and your pay later things like Klarma and Afterpay. You get um, free shipping and free returns up to 90 days. They're always running amazing sales. They have site-wide sales of up to 90%. And we have a promo code for you, of course. It's sale, 4284. That's sale, 4284. You know how when you usually bake cupcakes and you use the little paper cupcake liners with the little ridges and they, they always stick. They always stick to the cake or muffin as you try to peel them. So I always like to spray them with a little oil, right? And that's what we're going to do with these. But check this out. I'm very excited about this. Mm. This little spray bottle. We're going to put oil in. And then we're going to be able to spray without having to go spend money over and over and over again on cooking spray, which has all sorts of yuck chemicals in it. This is just gonna be the oil. And it does come with this adorable little funnel, which of course, as soon as I opened the box, I dropped the funnel and it fell behind the microwave cart and I 
climbed under there and I got it for you. Let's put some avocado oil in. I don't know how fine the mist is on the spray. We're going to find out. It might be too thick, you know, to, to, oh, I just poured it all over the place. Pay attention to the funnel. Get the avocado oil going in. Gonna give everything a little quick wipey wipe with my Timu sponge, which I think I showed you in the last Timu video. Oh, it's slippery now. All right, we just screw the lid back on, and then we're gonna give it a little spritzy spritzerino. Oh, oh, this is a good fine mist. Oh, this is excellent. Oh my god, I love this thing. Oh, this is excellent. This is so good because you know when you buy those, you know cooking sprays there's all sorts of chemicals and weird stuff in there and this is now just pure avocado oil and and oh my gosh i might need to get another one of these one for avocado oil one for olive oil because you know i love to roast veggies and you got to do a lot of spritzing spritzing also when i make my own croutons I usually break up the bread or cut it into cubes or whatever whatever and i'll use the cooking spray yep i'll just Coat them with chemicals and then sprinkle on, you know, the salt and garlic because you need the oil to kind of make the salt and garlic stick to your croutons, right? But now that I can use a healthy oil, game freaking changer. Very excited about this item. Love it, love it, love it. Now we'll get the batter into our little cups and pop these in the oven at 400 degrees. This is your standard boxed corn muffin mix. Look at how that spatula scrapes up every last bit of batter. Very frugal. You don't want to waste any batter. Don't you hate on cooking shows when they don't scrape the bowl? Ah! We don't like that. And into the oven for 25 minutes. There's more. Here I have a hot, steamy mug of almond milk. Here I have a frother. I've never had a frother before. I'm excited about the frother. Let's froth the milk and then we'll add some coffee. Ooh, I should show you how it spins before I get it all wet. Ooh, it spins. See how it spins? Faster than lightning. All right, let's froth. Wow, it's really frothing because this thing is filling up my mug now. So much fun. Pop it off with a little coffee. It's like I'm a professional barista now. Mm. The foam is fun. The frother takes two AA batteries and it's very easy to load the batteries because you just slide the top back like that and you put the batteries in, right? But I didn't realize that when I first was trying to load the batteries. I couldn't figure that out. That would just be too hard for me. So you see the screws there? I unscrewed this whole thing. You're not supposed to do that. I, I basically took the whole frother apart. I know what it looks like on the inside. And I was like, wow, that's awfully complicated for trying to put the batteries in. And then I realized, oh, you just slide the top over. It's easy. But even with my interference, it still works amazingly. I love it. My older daughter's moving into her new big girl apartment, so I'm giving a lot of these items to her because this is all the kind of stuff you need to set up your kitchen. We've got the good, strong kitchen shears. We've got two offset spatulas. I've always wanted these for frosting a cake. Love those. We've got the ultrasonic pest repeller. As I've mentioned before, we get a oops fruit fly problem in the summer. So I thought, okay, let's give this a try. I haven't tried it yet because I just opened it, but it plugs in and we'll see. I'll report back to you. This is for indoor use only. It makes no sound. There's no chemicals. There's no poisons. So goodbye, fruit flies. You know when you're trying to open a jar and you just can't? That's where this little gadget saves the day. It's got four different sizes, four different size lids. Pop it on your lid. Which way is open? That way. Oh, look at that. Now we can enjoy our roasted red pepper and artichoke caponade. So now you don't need to ask your husband to open jars for you anymore. Now look at this. I love this. Whoop, opens up. It's a pizza cutter. Also very good for your cheese quesadillas. All your cutting needs. 
we've got three sizes of ice cream scoopers to make your perfectly shaped ice cream or sorbet ball. Also excellent when you are baking cookies and you want them all to be uniform in size and perfectly round and beautiful, you use your ice cream scooper. Did I mention the app? There's an app you can download on the phone. Don't forget the app. I know a lot of you like to do your shopping with the app. So you can download the Timu app and don't forget the code. Sale 4284. Oh, I think the muffins are finished. Four minutes ahead of sketch. Aren't these adorable? I think I filled that cup a little bit too much. We're gonna let these cool and take a look at some more Timu merchandise that I picked out and wanna share with you. Let's go. Oh, I almost forgot to show you these stovetop liners. They, I am loving these because they're really helping keep the messes off the stovetop. And believe me, I make a lot of messes. I guess when I was browsing the Timu website, I had Christmas on my mind. They have a lot of fabulous holiday items. Christmas, Halloween, Easter, they've got it all. And I got some really cute Christmas decorations I want to show you as well as some little gifty poos I got for the fam. Because you know, I get very stressed out, like super freaking stressed out about stocking stuffers come the holiday season. And I really, really, really don't like to throw money away on little stupid, like little things just so there's something to put in the stocking. Like I want the stocking stuffers to be just as good as any other gift, like even unto themselves, you know, glory, glory be unto them, those little stocking stuffers. And, and sometimes it's just so hard, you know, and how many bath bombs can you give? So I get, I get really excited when I come across a small little gift that's really useful, affordable, perfect for the stocking, fun. So we've got the stocking stuffer things to show you, the Christmas decorations, here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This doesn't look right. This doesn't look very Christmassy. Hold on. Ugh. That's better. <laughs> that was high like an angel would say it. <laughs> I don't know. Now we've got it going on. All right, first off, adorable Christmas lights. Love them. Got several strands of them. When the kids just saw them, they said, oh my gosh, I love those. Can we keep those? Can we get more of those? And I was like, yes. As a matter of fact, we could get more of those. They're battery operated. They take three double A batteries. So just remember to turn them off when not in use because you don't want to drain the batteries unnecessarily. I'm not going to turn them off now though because I think they're adorable. I guess we can cover decorations first and then we'll go into little stocking stuffers and Christmas gift items. I got four of these. They go over the back of the dining room chairs and that is where I have them and I just pulled them off. They're very cute. I got two with this pattern. It's little gnomes in the back of the pickup truck. You know how gnomes like to travel. And then this one, two of these with just the Christmas trees. They're very lightweight. They're kind of a, well, they sort of look like, you know, I mean, they, what am I saying? I don't know what they're made of. I, they, they have a look kind of like linen, but you can feel that they're, uh, I'm gonna say machine washable. I don't know. I think they're really, I think they're really cute. I was also thinking about like sewing like little beads on or sewing little like jingle bells across the bottom, you know, zazzing it up a little bit. Get me craft. See? Wait a minute, what have I done? Just remember to read the dimensions of everything to see, you know, if it'll fit your situation. Alright, check out this cute and adorable ornamentation. Well, it could be an ornament. It's not very heavy. I think this could be an ornament on a tree. And it's a little lantern. It's got a little ring. I'm thinking of this as a mantle ornamentation situation. So we have the little lantern with Santa. This little lantern has a reindeer, but it's not the same reindeer on every side. Isn't that cute? And we have this lantern with the little snowman. I've not seen them light up yet. 
you have to pull the little tab out of the bottom. I wanted to do that together. This is our maiden voyage. So we'll pull the tab out, flick the button. Oh, wow. Let me just say, I think it's brighter on film than it is in real life. It's plenty bright in real life, but not qu quite this glowing, blinding. I don't know how to fix the exposure on the camera, but you can still see the snowman and everything. We've got our little Grinch Christmas ornament. There are so many really cute ornaments on the Timu website, and my girls love the Grinch, so I just knew I had to get this for them. And hello, how cute am I? That's right, me, Sparkly Santa. This little gnome, is so adorable. I love him. And I'm pretty sure he came, there was a pink sparkly one and then like a silvery gray one also. And then I think there was another one that was sort of a red and a green situation. And I would definitely get more of these. I, I It's really cute. This would be so cute on a mantle at Christmas. And he's pretty lightweight too. He's so zazzy. Now let me open my sack. Let's start to look at some little gifty poo items. I'll show you all the stocking stuffers up close. So we've got makeup sponges. We've got your soft kitty cat nightlight. It changes colors. Kitty cat cookie cutter. Amethyst bracelet. Very cute and crafty little storage boxes. It's like a roll top desk. Fun fake nails. Three bracelets so we can all be matchy matchy. I love the little daisy pendant. Eyeshadow, powder blush and liquid blush. Lip gloss and mascara. This is for your toothpaste or any other tube that you want to make sure to get every little last drop out of. You've got your tube of conditioner that comes with your hair dye. You've got your tomato paste in a tube. It's not just for toothpaste anymore. You slide the bottom of the tube into that notch, slide it back in there, and then you just turn it. So handy. You've got this little heart necklace. It has a mama elephant and a baby elephant, and it says, love you forever, I think. I can't read it without my glasses. We've got this super handy little cutter for opening packages. It's a little razor blade and it is really sharp as razor blades tend to be. Back in the makeup aisle, we don't want to forget our foundation. Cute little dangly earrings with a little kitty cat peeking out of a coffee cup. Or a tea cup. We've got your kitchen thermometer. battery goes in the top like that it's one of those uh, one of those kind of batteries it came with it it's digital now this is something every home needs it comes three in a pack it's a long strip of plastic with a little finger hold there it's got these little barbs little barbs it goes down into your drain and then when you pull it back out these little barbs drag all the hair and gunk back out of your drain. Because it is truly a gift to have a drain that drains properly. Every home needs that. The hair claw, perfect gift for any occasion. Another pair of earrings. They have a lot of really cute boho jewelry that I like. And of course, any of these kitchen gadgets would make excellent stocking stuffers as well. Have you been watching how the cat light's been changing color this whole time? I turned off the light so we could see it a little bit better. Good night, kitty cat. So the muffins were a hit. The paper cups peel right off. No problem. And I did decide to go ahead and bake brownies. It just came out of the oven, though, so I can't pop them out of the mold yet. Oh, but I want to. We've got two of these dusters. I got one in pink and one in purple so the girls could help dust. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're dusting the molding on the pocket door. Now I've got really high ceilings, so I needed a duster that extends.
Yikes. Luckily, this pink bit comes off so it can be washed. All right, everybody, we are almost finished, but I thought for the big finale, I would try some of the makeup. And we all know how good I am at doing makeup. We're gonna start with a matte foundation. I've got one of these in this bathroom too. Seems like a lot, did I put on too much? I should get one of those blending sponges. Where are they? Blending sponge! So, all the links you need are in the description box below, of course. So you can download Timu on your phone or go on your computer, follow the link in the description box. It'll take you to my launch page, which will show you everything I picked. So check that out. Pushing your wrinkles around your face until they settle somewhere. My mom always wore foundation and she didn't have a blending brush and her foundation was very tan looking, tanner than her skin. And so she always had like, you know, the unblended line there. And if she was ever going out anywhere kind of fancy, which my parents did on occasion, I would say, Mom, good God, you're not going out looking like that. We must blend your makeup. Does my skin tone look better? I feel like it does. And next, we have the mascara. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, look at that. Look at that. I'm smudging. What do I do? Next, powder blush. Remember, you get free shipping and free returns up to 90 days. You can pay... All your standard ways of buying things online, including Klarma and Afterpay, it's a plumper. And who needs lip plumping more than moi? Nobody, I'd say. It's nice and sheer. I like that. It's got a little color, but it's nice and sheer. These earrings go really well with this sweater. A little blue stone. Look at that. We're ready for the finale. sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please check out all the links in the description box below and have a great day.